Joining me now is Rigoberto Advincula. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on being named Editor-in-Chief of MRS Communications. Since you're new to the publication, tell us a little bit about your professional background. Yeah, well, thank you, um, Kathy. Uh, we, uh, we have been um, discussing about this since the beginning of the year, uh, joining MRS as the new Editor-in-Chief. I am a scientist uh, engineer, if you may. Uh, I'm a faculty with the Case Western Reserve University uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, with macromolecular science engineering. Uh, I'm a polymer uh, chemist. We do a lot of work on plastics, nanocomposites, nanomaterials. Great. Well, in a broad sense, how would you describe MRS Communications? What's it about? Yeah, MRS Communications really is a platform uh, where we, we like to get the best uh, work out there published in a rapid communications format where they can uh, publish their work, disseminate it as soon as possible uh, in broad areas of materials from solid state devices, uh, inorganic materials, polymer materials, biomaterials, where uh, we can take any submission practically from, from these broad areas and, uh, and have that ability to uh, disseminate it as quickly as possible. Are there specific kinds of papers that you look to publish? We, we'd like to get the state of the art. We'd like to get uh, a very pressing uh, um, breakthroughs, uh, problems or failures of materials or, or people looking at a new uh, uh, phenomena. Uh, we have different formats that goes into the uh, journal from letters to views to comments. Actually, we also have a very exciting format called Prospectives. Prospectives are uh, very forward-looking review articles, uh, a vanguard, if you may, that uh, shows where the materials field is going to. What would you say differentiates uh, MRS Communications from other MRS publications? Yeah, so uh, as I said earlier, it's a rapid communications format. We have a short review time of uh, uh, about two weeks uh, from submission to point of decision. We take articles uh, uh, with a definite uh, short length. On the other hand, other types of formats we have, like the MRS Advances, MRS Bulletin, uh, uh, takes full articles, review articles, but when it comes to rapid communications, uh, we get it and we channel it. Uh, uh, through the MRS Communications format. Tell me a little bit about your goals for MRS Communications because I know you're interested in having it broaden the international connections. Uh, yeah, what I'd like to see with the journal is that it becomes very relevant, obviously, to our uh, materials community, not only to our MRS, but to the whole uh, community of science uh, where they they can look at uh, advances in uh, uh, development of new devices or uh, materials that go into solid state uh, uh, devices, displays, sensors, polymer materials uh, with a bent uh, towards applications, uh, different types of nanomaterials. Uh, for example, uh, energy and the environment, relevance towards storage battery systems or electrochemistry uh, uh, of that nature. So we would like to get uh, basically, these advances capture it and, and disseminate it as quick as we can to the community. So, how do you see MRS Communications reaching out to the international MRS membership? Yeah, I would like to see MRS Communication get submissions from our colleagues uh, from Japan, Korea, from China, uh, from Europe. Uh, obviously, uh, some of the best works uh, that are advancing in the areas of solid state devices or polymers are, are coming from from our international uh, members. So uh, I would like to see more participation from them. So if somebody is interested in learning more about MRS Communications, where would they go? The, the best way to do that, of course, is through the website, uh, MRS uh, uh, slash uh, M MRC. Uh, mm -hmm. And we can also, they can also email me, rca41 at case.edu. Uh, so uh, it's searchable, of course, by Google. And I'd be happy to, uh, uh, describe to them the um, aims of the journal and of course encourage them to submit uh, online. Well, congratulations on the new position. Thank you. Thank you.